Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Steve Silver's Beach Blanket Babylon is proud to present... <laughs> a special tribute to ACT's new musical production of Armistead Moppin's Tales of the City! How did it all begin? Well, it started in the Pacific Sun and then became a phenomenon in the San Francisco Chronicle! What's new in the San Francisco Chronicle? I'll tell you what's new in the Chronicle. The year is 1976. The city is so transfixed by a literary genius whose talent is astronomical. That's what's new in the San Francisco Chronicle. Now you want to know about this writer? I'll tell you about this writer. He's got a column that's gritty, calls it Tales of the City, and I see his star getting brighter. Armistead Maupin is the name of this writer. Southern boy In San Francisco I'm a southern boy Writing a column In the paper each day Good things are coming my way With all these characters In my head with so much to say You know that I can't wait I'm gonna write a book No, maybe eight But till that happens To help me get along and sing my song. I'm writing dialogue for Beach Blanket Babylon. We're Beach Blanket Babies Working in the show each night Armistead is a deal that we all know I love his jokes in the show Now his tales of the city A phenomenon, no doubt It's making everybody shout It's filled with such desire How the stories they inspire This is what it's Is when Marianne arrives from Cleveland, quite the last meets Mrs. Madrigal, who's smoking grass. It'll kick your ass. There's the hippie Mona Ramsey, she's bisexual. Sweet Michael Tolliver, but we just call him Mouse. They're all residing in this crazy house. Seems they never change. Very strange. Barbary Lane is in my ears and in my eyes. What, what a kick, kick your, your tails have brought our mundane life. Books were a hit around the world in no time. The movies of Tales of the City were not far behind. And I just heard a rumor about a new musical ready to go. It seems that Tales of the City, along with a brilliant artistic committee, is gonna be a hot new. together ACT's going to produce this work of art everything depends on execution 
execution, trying to figure out what's in, what's out. But with Carrie Pearl off at the forefront, it's going to be a hit, I have no doubt. They're putting it together. Wait, there's more. Jeff Witte, he's doing the libretto. Jason Moore, he is the director, that's a coup. Not to mention Jake Shears and John Garden. Did you know that I'm their biggest fan? They're doing all the music and the lyrics, and they're in the Scissor Sisters band. They're putting it together. I could die. The next step, they're gonna need a sponsor for the show and of course the gala opening night they're gonna need a company that's brilliant and i heard that it's a tnt oh my god that's absolutely perfect maybe they will get phone service free putting it together i can't wait the show needs some donors they've got james b hormel Don't forget there's Priska and Keith Geeslin. Jeff and Lori Aubin, you're the best. And the one and only Kathy Scutchfield. These are names that make me so impressed. They're putting it together. And it's coming from their hearts. They're putting it together. Together. James Hare, who after 40 years is saying adieu. Jim, it won't be the same for us without you. And to ACT, we are thrilled to say it's an honor to be part of this grand soiree. Your star shines bright. It's your Only make me laugh.